as you all know, there is more than one way to skin a cat. Of course, I would never skin a cat. It's just a saying, as long as she doesn't keep getting in our crib. <laughs> Same concept goes for squirrels. You're going to find what works best for you. This method I'm about to show you is probably the most popular. Before we get down to the nitty gritty, I'm going to tell you what tools will be used during this video. The primary tool used in this video is going to be one of my favorite squirrel skinning knives. The old timer whittling pal. This small razor sharp folding pocket knife works very well versus a large blade hunting style knife. The second tool used in this video is a pair of wide gap side cutters, also known as dykes or wire cutters. And then you need two plastic grocery bags. On a side note, you need a place to do this because it can get messy. So I skin my squirrels usually outside. That way you don't get blood all over the inside of your house or your condo or apartment. Everything stays outside until you're finished. Alright, so let's get the skinning process started. Start by clipping the front and back paws of the squirrel right above the wrist and the ankles with the side cutters. Once the squirrel paws are removed, grab the squirrel at the base of the tail, placing your thumb where the tailbone and the spine meet. Now with the knife, I'm going to cut in the tail, but not all the way through, just right above the vent. Next is to twist the tail a couple times. This breaks the small bones, making it easier to cut through. Now we're going to make the final cut in the tail to break the skin away from it. As long as you don't cut through the other side, you'll be fine. Since the tail is cut, I can now loosen the skin around the rump and the hind legs of the squirrel by separating it with my fingers and the thumbs. Now that the skin is loosened around the rump and the hind legs, this will give us a flap to step on to peel the skin all the way down the squirrel. Step on the bone of the tail and pull the squirrel up by the hind legs. Pull the skin till it gets stuck at the forearms. Pop out the forearms with your thumb and index finger.
Now while keeping tension on the squirrel, if the fur was still on the back legs, you can pull it off now by holding the tail down with your foot still. But since I've already pulled that off because the skin didn't come right down the squirrel, I'm going to now take the knife and cut around the neck of the squirrel. Once I have the neck cut around, all that's left is the spinal cord. I'm going to take the side cutters and cut that. Now what we have left is a skin squirrel. As always, we appreciate you watching our videos. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned in for more videos on the way. We'll catch you guys later.